we've had some great ladies today. Burlesque dancer on the show. Uh, we had an Olympian. Now an inventor of a device to stop you ever again having to clean the oven door. Every time we ask you what's the worst thing about housework, cleaning the oven or cleaning the toilet comes top of the list. Well, my next guest might be able to help you then with at least one of these. It's Jamie O'Connor, mum of two from Halifax. She's invented a device, as I says, that stops the back of the oven door getting splattered with food so that she says you'll never again have to clean it. And Jamie's here. Good morning, Jamie. Good morning. Thanks for having me. That's <laughs> uh, all right. Right, I've got a roll in front of me, yes? Yep. And it looks so simple. Why hasn't anybody else thought about this, Jamie? I think, to be honest, from the feedback I've had when I've been searching around for a manufacturer, yeah. people couldn't work out how to fix it to the door. Right. People had thought about it before, but couldn't work out how to hold it in place. Right. Which is how, you know, we've, we've found out. So one of you, what have you, or what, what trade secrets can you give it away? I mean, A, it looks like a bit of gauze, like it goes over it. It's a it, silicon yeah. mesh material. Right. Heat resistant, reversible, washable. Okay. Um, it holds onto the, it, it's, it holds quite well onto the glass anyway, because of the material. Okay. But then we have an extra fixing on the front that comes over and holds on the front with a suction pad. So also, you pull your oven door down or open? open. Your, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you put the material over onto the back of the door. Yeah. Then you close your oven door. Yeah. And then put your I'm cooking fixing. Right. On the front. Okay, on the front, right. Which holds in place with a suction cup. And it's as easy as that? And it's as easy as, as it that. Is it one size fits all? Do you have to trim them off a little bit? Um, or? Ten to the one you have there, which is the premium oven door shield, it tends to fit all single and double ovens. I've got the premium one of them. You have. <laughs> And that can also be cut down to suit range cookers as well. Now, of course, being a man, I, I wouldn't go anywhere near the kitchen, of course, <laughs> <laughs> other than when I'm washing up. Um, but I could use this. It's not it's, difficult to it's fit, It's not no, difficult Even if you don't know your oven. Yeah. No, it, there's fitting instructions on them as well, but it simply holds in place with a suction fixing. Yeah. As easy as that. It's dead simple. Really simple. <sighs> Recommended retail price, then, Recommended Jamie? on the premium oven door shield is nineteen ninety nine. Okay. We also have a smaller version that we created especially for the Arga cooker, which yeah. is not see-through because it, it's a solid door on the Arga. You don't yeah. have to see through it. And that one is seventeen ninety five. So, But once you've got it, that's it. That's you don't it. need it again. Just, that's it. What about your microwave? Um, because they do splat food all over the shop yeah. if, you give them, if you blast it too long, don't they? Yes. We're actually carrying on with the range, and yeah. there will be other options available for the Brilliant. microwave for different range cookers for commercial different sizes things like that i'm just talking to other other manufacturers at the moment fantastic we're speaking to jamie who comes she's invented basically it's, it's called the oven door shield the one i've got here i'm cooking is the range yes is that, it's is the that i'm for? cooking oven door shield. shield yeah premium one in my hand here yeah. and uh it basically stops your oven door from getting splattered with food so what made you think about it in the first place? I mean, was it just something that really annoyed you loads, or did somebody, did someone say, I know a girl who's got creative ideas, oh, Jamie, could you do something with this? Is that, are you a scientist or what? No, how it came about was we already have my husband's business, which is White's Argo Services. Yeah, is this in Halifax? This is yeah. in Hal based in Halifax, we cover all the Yorkshire area, and what Dale does here is he service repairs Argo cookers, and then we opened up into a, a larger market right. and we started to clean Arga cookers, right. which Dale's dad does for us. So it's a family family business. And then people would say to Phil, what a fantastic job you've done, Phil. Yeah. I almost don't want to use the oven now to dirty the door. Yeah. How can I keep that door clean? And, you know, for the last eight, 18, it's taken us 18 months to get from them conversations back yeah. then saying how could we keep them dogs clean to now to market with it and we just i just thought about it what can we do you know people kept coming up with the idea how can we keep it clean and at the time well we don't know there isn't a way you simply scrub get your marigolds on give it a scrub that was the only way to clean it but now we've right. got the solution so yeah the, the you know the cogs just started turning and i was you know bothering dale quite a lot saying dale can we come up with something to yeah. keep this clean you know and I, I sort of came up with the material we didn't we didn't sort of know how to make it fix you know and then dale thought one night he said i've got it what about suction yeah. cup that would hold in place so you know went out and we, we did the prototyping the designing and then tested it we've um tested it for about six months 
testing on a red hot agar, yeah. you know, that isn't turned on and off. So yeah, it passed that test, time, so yeah. that's the hottest yeah. test yeah. you can pass. Uh, yeah. And then we've sort of opened it. So we did the agar one to start with, which is this one I'm holding up here. I know your viewers, yeah. Yeah, this is, yeah, but they can't sort of see it. No, but basically it's a silicon mesh thing that you've got, isn't it? That and one it's suction sil- pump yep. for, the, for the oven. Yeah. There is one for, for an arga. That's um, right. And I'm just thinking, because two small children, you know, your husband's got this, the arga business, which yeah. will be your business well, as well, I, I run it for him full time for with two young children, and I've brought this product to market as well. So di- have you invented other stuff before? I nope. mean, is that your... Nothing like this that. This has just been a spark from, from nowhere, really. That's right, yeah. And, I mean, obvious question, Dragon's Den and all that sort of stuff. You, yeah. You know, have you thought about... Getting extra funding um, for yourselves, or do you not need to? Do you not need to? To be help? honest, we, we've we've done quite well. I, I attended the uh, spring fair in spring this year at the NEC. Prime, What's that for? Like household it's goods like and trade show, and... you know, for you know the trade show where all your buyers go, if you yeah. like. So I attended there. And we got some really good feedback from there, um, and we also we secured first large order with a, a, a retailer that we're actually delivering into them next week. How big's the order? So quite big, Lakeland. Oh, Lakeland Plastics, that yeah, is, Lakeland, yeah. Lakeland, yeah. yeah, so we're delivering into them next week, so they're going to be available in their stores. So was that like, was that, was that like the biggest moment so far? That was then, the biggest moment it? so far, yeah. And then we're just talking now to Curry's, you know, yeah, yeah, to yeah, sell yeah. them alongside a brand new oven. So they're going to test, they're going to put them online. Yeah at the end of July and see how they go. And what are they, I mean, what's the initial reaction that you've had from, I mean, obviously you would have tested it in the market a bit. Yeah, we've tested it and uh, we've we've already got the Arga one in with a lot of the Arga independents because that's the, you know, that's their industry we're in. So I thought, I thought I'll test the water and hit them first. Yeah, and then yeah. following the feedback that it's been absolutely fantastic, we, you know, we did the yeah. show, we're quite confident it was going to do well. and. Obviously, the big Lakeland order is fantastic for us. So, how does it work then? Do you run it alongside the existing business that, that, that you've got, or are you doing this completely separately? And yeah, you think this is going to take off and you'll leave the. Uh, <laughs> I think Dale will probably, my husband Dale will probably still do the Argus because he's a guy who likes to be out there working <laughs> it hands on. <laughs> and the Whites uh, Cookware Limited, which is the Oven Door Shield, if you like, so it's uh, a couple of companies under the one umbrella. Fantastic. So we're talking about twenty pound for the the yeah, oven one, for the a little bit less one. for the other yeah. one, which is a bit less. Yeah. It's a suction thing, and does the suction bit go on the outside of yeah. the door? It does. It holds. Yeah. It holds in place. Yeah. On the outside of the, of door. the door, and then you the silic, it's like silicon, you said, isn't That's it? That's right. It, so it holds now. on the back of the. So glass. it doesn't look weird because people do get very sort of aesthetic about you know kitchen appliances, well, don't looks, they? It looks quite nice as well and the I'm cooking badge yeah. also acts as a reminder that people have got food in the oven. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it does help something. The amount of times I go through and said, anything in the oven? Why is it still on? You're going to burn the house down. Yeah. <laughs> and w- what about the, the children? What do they think of mum being an inventor? To be honest, they're quite young. Holly's yeah. only two. Harrison's oh, right. just gone five. Yeah. So I don't think they fully understand what Mum's trying to do to <laughs> secure them a nice life. <laughs> <laughs> so, and uh, is Mum out and about a lot then at the moment? Yeah, you? I'm out and about. Um, we've got, um, as you know, interviews with yourself, yeah. other people. Um, we're doing some um, stories with some national new- newspapers, that sort of thing. So I'm just trying to juggle everything at the moment, but... You know, it's hard because I do literally do everything myself from, yeah. from you know, the, the you, designing of the right to... You need a yeah, dragon. You need a dragon to get yeah, on the dragon want, to get there. they'll want a lot of, um, <laughs> you know, they want a lot of stake in the business as well. So if, try and plod on and do as much it's as I can, can myself for now. Oh, well, good luck. With, now, we did say that there's one of two things, isn't it? It's ovens and toilets are things that people hate cleaning. <laughs> You've got to develop something else for the toilet. <laughs> I've not thought about that yet. <laughs> You're going up on your plate at the yeah. moment. Fantastic. Jamie O'Connor, it's been a pleasure meeting you. Thank Great. you. Good luck with it. No problem. Thank and, you for having me. And where can they... Do you have a website with we that? Do. Where can it's, people go? Um, ovendoorshield.co.uk. Ovendoorshield.co.uk. Um, and you're local, aren't you? We are local oh. in Halifax, um, but they are available to buy on the website. And then just watch out for more news about us and that they'll be appearing in...